With the major sticker capsules pretty much being a dead investment from the beginning since there's simply just way too many in supply, and as we saw with the RMR stickers, it just seemed impossible for any chance at profit, let's talk once again about these souvenir packages and why I think there's a lot more potential for them that just meets the eye. So as always, if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and of course, check out my sponsor, Skinport. As I'm sure you guys know, Skimport is a CSGO marketplace where you can find some insane discounts and save a ton of money buying CSGO skins. For example, if you're looking for a new Deagle skin, the print stream is only going to cost you $54 on Skinport, well, it's going to be $71 on the Steam market, so you're going to be saving over 20%. You can also sell your skins for real money on Skimport as well. Only a 6% selling fee on items over $1,000 and a 12% selling fee on items under $1,000. So please stop getting ripped off on the Steam market and sign up to Skimport today with that link in the description. But for now, let's get right into the video. So why am I so interested in these souvenir packages? Let's quickly go over what they have going for them. Well, first, we have to remember that these packages are not tradable for a week after buying them in the in-game store. From an investment standpoint, this might not seem like it affects anything at all, but if we take a look back at the first week these things were available to buy on the market, we saw that a lot of people were buying them at some points even over double what they were listed at in the in-game store at. I've covered why before, but apparently it's because certain countries or just certain locations can't buy stuff in the in-game store, but can buy it on the Steam market. But either way, not really important for this video, it just shows that a lot of people want these things and will pay obscene prices for them. But of course, as time went on, and obviously once everybody saw that these things were being sold for $8 on the Steam market, Everybody just piled on, tried to make some quick money, and now we're at the point we're at now, where they're actually at the price they should be at, the $3 point. So because of this, I think we're actually in a really good spot. Currently, unlike at the $8 point where a ton, a ton of people just bought these and just tried to make a quick two and a half times their investment by buying these and trying to list them on the market, we're going to have what has to be a very small amount of these things becoming tradable or listable on the market because for the average player, you got to think, what's the point of buying in on these in the in-game store and selling them on the market at this point in time? There's no reason to do it anymore since they're both at the $3 price point. There's no profit there. Tie this in with the fact that, for example, the Mirage Souvenir Packages has over 11,000 of them being sold on the market a day still, with only around 13,000 total on the Steam market right now. And because of that, I think we theoretically shouldn't have too high of a supply of these things once they get removed from the game. And either way, it seems like the community is more than happy to pay for these things, even if they're above the $3 price point than they were originally at. So. In my eyes, a great investment, and not only that, it possibly even gets better. Another thing that I've briefly covered in the past is that keep in mind that the names of these collections, the 2021 Mirage Collection, 2021 Dust 2 Collection, 2021 Vertigo Collection, there's a possibility that we don't see these reused in the major next year, but it's of course also possible that we do, and that we might just see a 2022 New Collection, Overpass Collection, and Inferno Collection. You get the point. Honestly, either way, it's good news. If there's new 2022 collections, keep in mind that what we saw this time around with the souvenir packages because of the 7-day trade holds and being at the $8 price point like a week after they were available to put on the market, it's a really easy way to possibly double your money. And if there's going to be new souvenir packages next time around, that's definitely something to keep your eye on as I mean, I don't see why the same exact thing wouldn't happen next time around. So once again, something to very much keep your eye on. And it's always really good to keep this in mind as an investor as, I mean, I'm covering this so long before the next major is going to begin. If you keep it in the back of your head, you're going to be one of the first people to know it and potentially one of the first people to make a ton of money from it. And now, of course, we've got to keep a couple of things in mind as well. Number one, the sale that comes with the major. I'm honestly not sure if these souvenir packages are going to go on sale. I feel like with the last major, and correct me if I'm wrong because it was a very long time ago that we did not see a sale at all. If we look at the Berlin packages, there was a dip on November 18th, 2019, but 
This wasn't because of a sale, it was because of the release of Operation Shattered Web, which of course we saw across the entire CSGO market. This time around with Operation Riptide, it just caused a huge hit on literally every skin, every investment, everything on the market, and that happened back then as well, so shouldn't be too surprising. But a new operation being released definitely takes a pretty big hit on the CSGO market, but there's no guarantee that Valve won't put them on sale this time around either, so in my opinion, it's definitely safe to hold off still until we actually see this presumably an, a sale that will happen, but maybe it will only affect the sticker capsules and player autograph capsules, all that stuff. Another thing you have to know is that even though I mentioned we might not see these same collections in the Major next year, if we do, which is definitely a safe bet if you invest in these things, that there will be around a 50% dip in price potentially, for example, if we look at the Overpass Collection Package from the 2019 Major, obviously a map that we saw in the Major this time around as well, with the same collection skins from last time, needless to say, take your profits, because this thing is going to crash in price. Obviously, there's a ton more of them coming into supply with literally the same exact items in it. Just imagine if we had a breakout case and then Valve decides to release with the next operation, the breakout case too, and it's literally all the same items. Of course, the breakout case is going to dip in price, so obviously just something you have to keep in mind. So overall, I think these souvenir packages, specifically the ones of Ancient Vertigo, Dust 2, and Mirage, of course, all being tied to either Operation Riptide or Operation Broken Fang, are great investments to keep your eye on, tons of hype behind them, and probably will continue to be behind them as long as the operation goes on at least. And hopefully this $3 price point is the lowest they'll hit on the market. And if the hype behind them keeps up and once we get them removed from the game, hopefully we see a massive spike in price right away, possibly something like we saw with the RMR capsules when they were removed from the game after being there for what seemed like decades. But once again, I mean, with Valve keeping all the souvenir packages, all the major items in the game for this long, I very well think we could see something like the RMR capsules exploding, or sorry, we could see the souvenir packages exploding like the RMR capsules did, because, I mean, people don't know when Valve is going to end the sale or end this update with the major items in the game, so why not just get hype behind it and then everything's going to explode once they're removed, because nobody expects it, just like last time around. But either way, I think that does wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skinport as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.